afternoon, happy peoples. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Don't mind the crazy in the background. So we have got a fun, exciting video to bring to you today. We are actually gonna be talking about all things food prep, food storage, preparation that we have done both in the past and that we are getting ready to restock up on, kind of bring you along for, for some items that we're gonna be picking up. Being as we live in Alaska, um, if anything happens, let's say in the low 48 or such, it can affect how fast and when we are able to get food here um, due to how we get our food. Everything is kind of driven up pretty much to Washington, then it's barged in, and a lot of times it'll go to Anchorage, and then from Anchorage it'll be driven, trucked in. Um, so if anything happens where we're unable, like, that's where all of our food comes. So we're kind of like the last stop on the old trail ride. So being prepared and making sure that we have enough food that say if something did happen, we are actually able to sustain and we have, a, you know, at least, I like to have at least like a three month food storage supply. Um, we're probably not gonna be buying that much today as far as like in like a lump sum of like, okay, here's our three month supply. We already have quite a bit, so we're just kind of adding to it. Um, during the move, we actually um, got rid of a lot of our canned foods. Um, partly a lot of it was we didn't really want to move it and it had actually been sitting for quite a while. So, or we were able to give it to people who actually were able to use it right away. Um, but we just want to kind of restock. So we're gonna be going for things like canned foods, paper goods, cleaning supplies, because it's super important to have cleaning supplies and like um, making sure that you're able to keep yourself and your area very sanitized. We are gonna head on into Costco. We're gonna bring you along and we will show you all of our food storage, food prepping and all that good stuff. Let's head that way. things when I'm building my food store just to make sure that I'm actually getting items that we consume normally like so it's not like this random can of garbanzo beans and we never actually eat those so picking up some fruit picking up some corn some green beans they actually have some really good prices here at Costco um, olives everyone eats olives in the family except for me I'm the only weird one there um, but yeah just finding some stuff that we know that we're gonna consume and then just being able to purchase more than we normally would and then the shelf life is actually the most of this stuff is at least two years up to three and canned foods you can actually keep a lot longer but so we're off to a good start
look what we're riding. Oh, hi, Dad. I can see the background. <laughs> we're riding off Yeah, we're shopping at Costco and we're getting a lot of canned foods. Happy peoples. Hold on. It blow off no. my stamp. It'll blow off my stamp. Mine's pretty much already dry. All right, hold still. Mine hey, are... mom should put on some crazy music. Like, da 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 Oh, Judy she's gonna won. beat us! Green beans down. on our shelf which is so exciting I haven't been able to do this yet like I said this is just kind of a this is not my long-term food storage this is the storage that for like the next month and a half two months type of a food so this is stuff that we generally will eat and I will rotate it into my regular everyday use pantry so pretty excited I haven't had this since um, we moved can you hear him cutting wood hey babe can totally hear that. Okay, there it is. So I'm very excited. This cost us around, cause we got some stuff that I didn't want to include into this. So we got like some, let me tell you, some new cauliflower crisps at Costco. Not going in my storage, but going in my pantry. So we got things like that and like chicken nuggets. And I don't know, we've got, we got some of the things for like everyday use. So I didn't want to incorporate that into the bill. So anyway, um, this came out to about $550. Be some stuff that will, in case we needed to live off of it, we could for at least a duration. Mind you, we would not necessarily touch the stuff till we've depleted our fridge, our freezer, and our pantry that is already up there. So this is kind of like our back stock. Like I said, I am going to try to um, integrate it into my pantry so it doesn't sit for a long time and then I can just replenish. That's my hope. Get some macaroni and cheese which is not something that I'm gonna keep super, super long, but it will keep for a while. And that's like Garrett's sustenance. So 
important. If you guys are interested in seeing my long-term food storage, let me know in the comments below and maybe we can put together a video like that. This is a project that I am really, really wanting to take on. Back at our old house, I really had it dialed in. I felt really good about it and then we moved and everything just kind of got, you know, after you move, you just kind of slam things in. Um, and then we went through all of our stuff and I just haven't, I haven't gotten back into it. So I love doing this though, organizing it and all the things. Yeah. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see something like that. So thank you guys so much for coming along with us. Um, I hope this kind of shared a little bit, gave you some insight. This is, this is just my thing. This is just my opinion. So I, I don't necessarily know if I'm doing it right or wrong, but it is something um, that I think our family will use. Another thing that you notice that maybe we did not get is we did not get like flower type items. Um, in my long-term food storage, I do have quite a bit of wheat berries, a plethora of wheat berries because I wanted it to stay in there in airtight containers. And I have a, um, a mill, a wheat mill. So um, I'm able to do that. And we have a lot, we have a lot. Um, I mean, I have a washboard, so. <laughs> So if you want to see our prepper life, let me know and I will uh, I will share it with you guys. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for coming along with us today and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take it away, kids. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.